Welcome to the second instalment of GCN's Rides to Do Before You Die. This time Emma and I are jumping on an EasyJet flight to Andalusia in sunny Spain. Now before you get to watch our adventures on that epic ride in the hills of this beautiful region, we also filmed some extra bits that you wouldn't normally see. Like me clipping in first time. Hey, first anyway. time. Oh, high five. <laughs> we just want to show you how easy it is to be riding on foreign roads only a few short hours after leaving your front door. <laughs> Two boarding passes. It's you first, Emma. Great. So okay. far away. I want to queue up. How long have we got that? <laughs> And easy, we're flying from Bristol Airport, which is pretty convenient, frankly. No long transfers. Pretty easy to the airport, and wasn't it's it? such a yeah, so quick through the airport. And we're going to take you to Andalusia, which is gorgeous riding, lovely weather. So right. basically, a hidden gem of a ride is what this is all yeah. about, isn't yeah. it? So it doesn't have to be iconic, but there's some beautiful roads in Andalusia, lovely and quiet, warm. I'm just excited about it. Lovely roads and some nice coffee up there. Let's go. Let's do this. Five hours ago, we were in. I was at home, uh, having spent pretty much the whole day at home, and then at sort of five o'clock, bumbled on down to Bristol Airport. Flight at half past seven, and okay, it's midnight now. But tomorrow we can get straight on the bikes. With the weather's looking amazing, so it's pretty easy, isn't it? Really. I left home six hours ago. It's Not pretty good. Actually, got in for my ride only an hour before then. It does a bit of a panic with bike packing, but... Yeah, I nearly lost my passport. I did lose it temporarily. I panicked and I was sweating so much, I'd take all my outer garments off and was running around the house in my jeans. Finally found it, luckily. Otherwise, it'd just be and you. And you found your clothes, which is camera. also a good thing. Found my clothes as well. It's not too bad. The morale is just sort of spiked, actually, which is a really good start to the day. Maybe, you know, if there's ever any risk of morale slipping, I guess that means we should drink coffee. Yeah, I think that could be the plan throughout the day. What do you reckon? It's normally my plan most days, to be honest. <laughs> One last coffee. Leave the hotel in 15 minutes. It's a very smooth operation. I don't want to lag behind and cause anybody to be late. So I'm taking my room to my room. Oh, that's a Tom Jewel. <laughs> Well, Emma, we're here. Pretty much, it's not exactly the start line, but it's the start point in Estepona. Yep. It's lovely, isn't it? It's pretty awesome, yeah. So we're going to ride out into Spain, into the mountains, and find some cool roads. We've got a nice 130k loop. Yeah. I don't know the roads at all, but the, the Wild to the Tour of Spain started a stage here just a couple of years yep. ago. So I've been around this area, but so looking forward to heading into the hills yep. and doing some exploring. Yeah. But lovely terrain, quiet roads. Seen some cork. Seen some cork trees. Some goats and some sheep. <laughs> yeah, we've seen a mad and dog. One stupid dog, yeah. Already 13.3 k's of pure adventure. <laughs> First coffee stop. Done and dusted. Feel a bit refreshed, reinvigorated. I'm ready to tackle 
the rest of the day. But what an absolute spectacular view. Africa over there, absolutely insane. Snack attack. Snack time. It's always snack time when I'm around. Almendras. 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 This is an integral, as in a whole wheat almond cookie with no sugars. That's mine. Straight in the back. We see that. Naranjas. Uh, oranges uh, in Spanish. This uh, particular bit of road, 55 k's in, a little bit rutted, but it kind of makes up because it's just so quiet and it feels so remote. It feels this is like our own kind of private ride, doesn't it? It's gorgeous, yeah. Anyway, the Spanish revolta is buitre. 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 buitre, with a B. And the funny thing is that in Spanish, B and V are almost interchangeable. Ah, like Movistar, Movistar. Exactly. Movistar. You say Movistar. And the buitre, beginning with a B, in Spanish, goes to buitre in French, which is the French revolta. And then we got vulture from that. Wow. I think. Still, what's the time? About half six, quarter yeah. seven? Mm -hmm. I mean, the sun's still up. I mean, look at that free view. Absolutely oh, stunning. It's quite tea time though. But I am feeling just a little bit peckish. I'm not quite blown, but I can see me blowing up in the next 10K unless I have some really, really mean? cheap sweets. No, I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the fake Haribo. This is uh, oh. cran cranberry tart, torta de arandanos. But it's without added sugar. I think it's got sweeteners in, which is a bit of a disaster, given that I kind of want some sugar. Yeah. I'm not eating those things, they look gross. I'm going to have some of these frutos secos dominguez. There is no dried fruit in there. There's no dried fruit in here whatsoever. Just sugar and calories. Um, recommended price, one euro for those. Mm -hmm. Which I think is quite reasonable, to be honest with you. This was free. They're, pro I they're probably, <laughs> probably going to get me out of a hole. Mm. Dominguez. Got a drip yeah, on the end of your nose. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, no, that fell in the bag. That means they're all mine. <laughs> spectacular. Spectacular in a different way because my body feels completely different than it did at the start of the day. Not as sprightly, but pretty, pretty fulfilled, actually. Looking forward to an ice cream and a beer on the beach. Yeah. How about you? How are you feeling? Yeah, all right. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a... I think I'm probably jumping in the sea, actually. It's been a bit of a hot day. Yeah. Lovely. Look at the view. That is an epic view. It's a million dollar view, isn't it? Nearly at the end of an epic ride. Yeah. Do you know what? Just the final climb. Boss. Boom. Thank you for your moral support, Emma. It's all right. But I kind of forgot um, myself a little bit on that climb. Forgot his it name. went all a bit wobbly. But now I think I'm um, after those kind of that yeah. sugar rush. I think I'm feeling a bit more like myself. Matt actually got fed up of me talking about trees. He said, "Shut up about cork." Just stop it with the botany. I said. <laughs> yeah, cork it. Cork it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we should call this video Andalusia uncorked. Yeah. Oh. Might uncork a bottle of uh, vino tonight just to. I thought we were having celebrate. mojitos. Well, we can have mojitos, vino, and probably a couple of beers. That's actually. a lot of booze. I, I can't, at my age, I can't drink that much. Oh, we spread it out amongst us. We're not going to be too silly. You know, we're, we're, you know, we're professionals. That was it's kind of almost epic. Proper old school riding that was. There we go. Beach it is. Beach o'clock. <laughs>